Hi, this is Katie Weeks and I'm here to share with you day 11 of the 12 days of Christmas with Katie and Angie. Today I'm going to be making a cute little gift bag out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and one 6 by 6 coordinating sheet as well. And I think you'll really enjoy it. It's a really quick bag to make up and you can put in some nice little treats for a friend or a family member. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the cute little bag that I'm going to make. I'm going to flip the patterns for this next bag. It's just a really simple bag that measures six inches long and about three and a half inches um, deep this way. So you can fit quite a few different things in it. Isn't it adorable? So this is the one we're going to be making. I'm going to start off. It is from the Comfort and Joy paper pack is where I got my papers. I'm going to start off. This is an old scoring board we used to have and I still love it. And I am going to score at three inches And then I'm going to rotate and score at four and one eighth. And then I'm going to repeat that. Three inches. And four and one eighth. This idea actually came from another YouTube channel. And the lady's channel is called Rejoice and Create. And her name is Darby. And she makes the most adorable little um, bags and boxes and treat holders. And I've always loved those sort of things. So now I'm going to burnish all of those fold lines really, really well. I've got my folds at three and nine up here, if you can see that. I'm going to take this bottom corner, I'm gonna take this fold line and fold it down to this fold line. Um, so, um, it might help to furnish them the other way a little bit. I hope you can see. Can you see how those lines meet? And I'm going to go um, around, I make it 180 degrees and do the same thing here. And then on this other side, I take this fold line and bring it down to here. And then once I have those folded, so then you see a fold here, here. I'm going to take my adhesive and just stick those together really well. And that makes our box. We can, we can glue in some other parts as well, but this will really hold it together. You do not have to glue it, I just like to. And the next thing I'm going to do is glue these, glue this triangle against here. The same thing here. Then we are going to take the six by six sheet and we're gonna cut it on the diagonal. Now, 
My tip for cutting a diagonal is first off, no matter what you're cutting, you always want to start a new project with a clean track. Make sure there's no paper debris in there and make sure there's no paper particles on your blade as well. Then I'm going to put the point here and the point here, both in the track at the same time. And then I like to start in the middle and push my blade down and then go to either end. That way I don't crinkle up those corners. Then I have the two corners. The next thing I'm going to do is bring back my scoring and score these at one inch on either side. And then just fold those back a little bit. This is where the adhesive is going to go. And then this will be loose at the top. The next thing I'm going to do is make these guys face each other. And I'm just using a corner rounder. You certainly would not have to. I like that rounded tip. And then I'm going to use a very old, close to my heart, one and a quarter circle. Punched out those circles. And then I'm also going to use a hole punch on either side. Okay, I brought my box back in and I'm going to put the adhesive down here. This works really great if you can use papers that are not directional. Um, of course, if you put something that was directional here, like with words on this side, it would be all upside down. So there would be an obvious front and back in that regard, but I just really like it when there's nothing directional on it. And then you can line this up and put your ribbon through. I used about 28 inches of ribbon. somewhere through there you could always cut about 30 inches and cut off tails and have plenty extra and you can always tie on a beautiful little tag that coordinates I'm not taking the time to make a tag on this tutorial but um, if you are not a consultant and would like to join my virtual crop then I do have a crop this weekend on all about tags it's called tag your it it's on my Facebook page my a special private group um, the only consultants that I have in this group are my own dial lines of course I want to train them how to do things as well and there you go or a cute little bag. And perfect for the holidays. Join us tomorrow for Angie. She will be 
on her YouTube channel with day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas. If you would like supplies to make some bags, I will um, forward you to katie, K-A-T-I dot C-T-M-H dot com. And I'm not sure how much of this paper we have left, but this was one of my favorite holiday ones we came out with this fall. But we do have Jingle Joy and some other ones. And you certainly don't have to use this just for Christmas. You can use this for birthdays. And we have a darling little birthday paper pack right now. Um, and um, I hope you enjoyed it and you have a great day. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something new and were inspired to make one of these cute bags. I'd appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, turn on that bell for notifications, and if you have a chance, maybe even share this with a crafty friend and leave a sweet comment. Have a great day.